Thinking of taking a DNA test, but feeling overwhelmed by your options? Don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into three of the most popular DNA testing services. Ancestry DNA, 23andMe, and MyHeritage DNA. We'll explore their ethnicity estimates, family matching features, health reports, and more. Also, you can decide which one is right for your family history journey. Stick around to the end, where I'll give you my personal recommendation and a few bonus tips that could save you time and money. Before we get into the differences, let's talk about what these three DNA kits have in common. All of them use autosomal DNA, which looks at your family history across both your maternal and paternal lines up to about six or seven generations back. You'll get an ethnicity estimate and a list of DNA matches, people who share segments of DNA with you and might be relatives. Each company has a global database and offers tools to explore your results. But the way they present that information and the tools they provide can vary a lot. Let's start with the part most people are excited to see, ethnicity estimates. All three services give you a regional breakdown based on your DNA, but there are some big differences in how detailed they are. Ancestry DNA has the largest reference panel. That's the data set used to identify your ancestry. It covers over 1,300 global regions and gets updated frequently which means your results might change over time as the science improves. 23andMe is also strong in this area, especially for underrepresented populations. If you have roots in East Asia, Africa, or indigenous Americas, their results tend to be more granular than some others. MyHeritage DNA specializes in European and Jewish ancestry and includes some unique regions that you won't always see in the other two. Friendly tip. Ethnicity estimates are fun, but they're not exact. Treat them as broad clues, not GPS coordinates. This is where things really start to matter for genealogists and family historians. Ancestry DNA is the clear favorite here. You get access to one of the largest DNA match databases in the world. And if you have a tree on Ancestry, it connects your matches directly through tools like through lines, which suggests how you're related based on both DNA and family trees. 23 and Me gives you matches too, but there's no built-in family tree. You'll see how much DNA you share with someone and an estimate of your relationship, but you'll have to connect the dots yourself. My Heritage lets you build trees and has a feature called auto clusters. It groups your matches into visual clusters based on how they relate to each other. Super helpful if you're working with lots of distant cousins. Use DNA matches in combination with your paper trail. DNA is the spark, but records confirm the relationships. Health reports and extra features. Now here's where 23andMe really sets itself apart. It's the only one of the three that offers FDA-approved health reports, including carrier status, wellness reports, and even traits like whether you're likely to have curly hair or dislike cilantro. With Ancestry DNA, you can pay extra for a traits add-on. It's fun, but not medically focused. MyHeritage DNA has a health upgrade too. It's less well-known in the US, but offers useful reports for things like heart disease and diabetes risk, especially geared toward European populations. Studio microphone note for genealogy fans. If your focus is building a tree, health reports might be optional. But if you're curious about wellness or family medical history, 23andMe is worth a look. Let's talk money, because these tests aren't cheap and subscriptions can sneak up on you. 
Ancestry DNA starts around $99, but to use most of the genealogy tools, you'll need a paid subscription to Ancestry.com. 23 and Me costs a bit more if you want health reports, usually $129 to $199. The good news? It's a one-time cost, and you don't need a subscription unless you opt into 23andMe+. MyHeritage DNA Often has the lowest base price, especially during sales, sometimes as low as $39. But, like Ancestry, you'll need a MyHeritage subscription for full access to records and match tools. Money-saving tip Watch for sales around holidays. Black Friday, Mother's Day, and even DNA Day in April are great times to buy. Here's a quick breakdown of which test might be best for your goals. Best for genealogy and building family trees? Ancestry DNA. Best for health and wellness info? 23 and Me. Best for European and Jewish heritage or visual tools. My Heritage DNA. Bonus tip. You can download your raw DNA from any of these sites and upload it to free tools like Geed Match or even to Family Tree DNA to get more matches, sometimes without testing again. So, which one is right for you? If you're serious about family history, Ancestry DNA gives you the best tree integration and DNA match tools. If health insights are your focus, go with 23andMe. And if you're researching European roots or love visual tools, my heritage might surprise you. Have you tested with any of these services? I'd love to hear your experiences in the comments. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more genealogy tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy ancestor hunting.